Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, this is just a sample from Tafsir uh, of Saud. Ula'ika isharatun ila alladhina hukiyat khisaluhum alhamidatu min haythu tisafuhum biha. So he gives, he's talking about the word ula'ika. Ula'ika wal ala hudam min rabbihim wa ula'ika hum muflihun. What does that mean? What is it? What's it being doing? What's it doing rhetorically? He says, when he says ula'ika, there is ishara to, is referring to uh, those people whose praiseworthy attributes have just been mentioned. Min haythu tisafuhum biha. And it's not just referring to them, right? But referring to them from the point of view of having those attributes. So what the what the what the word is doing is pointing to these things and saying, consider these people in view of the fact that they have these attributes. Right? And and in it there's indication that they are mutamayizun, they're very distinct distinction, distinct. Mutamayizun that they are totally distinct by that, by being people. Of taqwa and by being people who are following guidance, they are totally distinct. Muntadimuna bisebabihi fi silkal muru mushahada and 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 uh, because of this, by dint of the fact that they have these outstanding characteristics, they have stood out like something that is physical, that al umur mushahada, like they stand out like this finger here. Look. Here's my finger. Look at these people here. It stands out, and so the 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 uh, the, the rhetoric rhetorical use of ulaika is being referred to. Is, is, there's nobody in front of him, right? There's no physical bodies that he's referring to that the verse is referring to. It is referring to something that's conceptual, and so we're referring to something conceptual with the reference of, that is usually used for something physical tells us that this thing is almost merged into the physical world uh, or the apparent world. By uh, by by dint of the fact that it is so distinct and is so unique, and he says, "Wa ma fihi min ma'an al bordi lil ashari bi'aluwi darajatihim wa bordi manzilatihim fil fadli." And he says, "When it's ulaika as opposed to ha ulai, when it's those over there, even though there's no distance, right? Allah subhanahu wa taala is talking about the people of the people of taqwa." They are neither close nor far. There is no physical distance. So then why, O oh Allah, why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose the word ula'ika? Those people over there, as opposed to these people over here, ha'ula'i. Why? He says, uh, um, he says, لِلْإِشْعَارِ بِعُلُوِّ دَرَجَتِهِمْ وَبُعْدِ مَنْزِلَتِهِمْ To show how high their rank is and how far off and merit they are from anybody else in comparison. And he says, this ibham, this unknownness that is understood from the indefiniteness, right? When something is indefinite, hudan is indefinite. It's not al-huda, right? It's indefinite. When it's indefinite as opposed to definite, okay, what is it? What is it? Uh, uh, what is it? What does it give us? It gives us li kamali tathkhimihi to show how how august and how uh, uh, how amazing it is, right? They, those people are on some unfathomable guidance as opposed to on the guidance that you're familiar with. They are on some guidance. كأنه قيل على أي على أي هدن Right on what on 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 some kind of on on some kind of uh, unfathomable guidance on a guidance you couldn't explain on what a guidance that's kind of the closest explanation. Hudan la yublahu kunhuhu wa la yuqadaru qadruhu. They are on a guidance whose uh, uh, true essence nobody could ever is it's beyond ken it's beyond understanding. You could never give an approximation. You couldn't define it. You couldn't put it in a, in a you couldn't put the L before it because it's undefinable. It's unlimited. Some unfathomable, amazing, un undescribable guidance. It says, using the word ala, uh, uh, 
بناء على تمثيل حالهم في ملابستهم بالهدى بحال من يعتل الشيء ويستولي عليه okay so he says there's a tashbih here there's a resemblance here right so what's, what's the point he's trying to make is when you, you can't be physically on a guidance a guidance is not something physical when you say the pen is on the table there is an isti'la there is a physical isti'la between the pen and the table but the relationship between somebody guided and somebody and their guidance is not a relationship relationship of isti'la so what is the rhetorical use there what is the point of the word ala like what would be the difference if we said ulaika bihudan for example those people are with a guidance or fi hudan they are in a guidance like they're not physically with it nor are they physically in it nor are they physically on it so if you're using the word ala why why is it being used he says why binaun ala tamthili halihim fi mulabasatihim bil huda their relationship with huda is bihali man ya'tali ash-shay by like somebody who goes on top of something wa yastawli alay and they goes over it bihaythu yatasarrafu fihi kama yurid such that he uses it in the way he 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 wishes so he says basically there is a catalyst here right something that's kicking something off right there is this qarina here we're using the word ala and so when you say ala that is telling us uh, 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 that those people uh, uh, so either they or the thing under uh, the thing that uh, the underneath them uh, so they are somebody who is uh, uh, in a situation where they have control over something right you he's on, i'm on the case he, uh, he, that guy's on me meaning he's he's finding out what's what's going on about me and he's going he's going i'm going to be under his power soon Right, that's what it means. He says that's one possibility, right? Oh, ala sti'arati him, oh ala, oh ala sti'ah, oh ala sti'arati ha li tamasuki him bil huda sti'arata sti'arata tabaiyat mutafari'at ala tashbihi him bi atila al rakib wa sti'wahi ala markubihi, right? Uh, or uh, uh, or it's an isti'ara to show how uh, 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 to show how connected they are to that thing. Just like when someone's on a horse, they're connected to that thing, right? They are not falling off that thing. So it's not showing they're about control, but it's showing about the fact that they are mutamasikin bihi, holding fast to it, just like somebody holds hot, tight to a horse, for example, that they might be riding. Oh, ala jaliha qarina tal isti'ara bil kinaya bain al huda wal markub, right? Uh, or it could be that is uh, that it is um uh uh aujaliha qarina tal lil isti'arati bil kinayati bayna al huda wal markub lil idhan bi quwwati tamassukihim minhu wa kamal rusukhihim fi okay or uh, um uh, it is uh, uh, we gonna, we going to make uh, treat the word ala ala haqiqatihi right going to say that it's haqiqa uh, and so therefore this is going to be Telling us that there is either kina uh, isti'ara makniya in these words, or we can also, he's not mentioning this here, but you can also make it isti'ara tamthiliya, right, uh, with the whole picture of somebody being established on something. And he says here, lil idhan, what's the whole point? He says here, in, 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 regardless of the technicalities, lil idhani bi quwati tamakunihim min. وَكَمَالِي رُسُوخِهِمْ فِي To show how well established they are, متمكن, how established they are, and how they are steeped in that thing. Okay? And so this is an example of the depth, right, that the, the likes of Abu Sa'ud go into in these Balaga points. Again, if we had more time, just an example, we can mention the kind of three kind of ways of ana analyzing the actual istiara here in more depth. But this is a basic picture, and inshallah, give us an idea of this book, um, uh, inshallah ta'ala. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.